Hey guys, we are back to wrap up week three and move into the final week of the cut down to KetoCon challenge. Like how? How is it already the last week? Like time has gone by so quickly, which it's really weird because it feels like it's taken forever, but it's just zipped on by all at the same time. So let's check in with my BFFs, Joe and Rachel over at Two Crazy Ketos. Hey guys. Hey, what's up, Bottom? Hey, what's up? So excited to get to check in with you and see how the cut down is going this week. Me too. First question, is there anything you've discovered during this challenge that you enjoy so much that you're gonna keep doing it even after the challenge is over? Yes, the Zevia. Where has it been all your life? I don't know, but I love the Zevia and I'm shocked that I love it. I mean, I drank so much Diet Coke before and I was considering getting rid of it, and then the challenges kind of gave me the have to to do it. And That's I'm awesome. glad because I'm really enjoying it. I mean, I like all the flavors, even the grape one. No. Joe, stop trying to make grape happen. It will never happen. Zevia, Zip Fizz, never. Grape is terrible. I like it. All grape is terrible. <laughs> no. Cream soda is awesome and root beer is awesome. Even though it's a little off-putting that like no matter what flavor you pour, it's all clear. Yeah, that's what is up absolutely with that? true. That's like, that weirds me out a little bit. But. Yeah, but I don't see myself going back to drinking the regular soda with the no. only exception being maybe if we go out to eat to a restaurant, maybe really I'll have a fountain soda, but I don't see myself buying cans of soda anymore. Yeah, because I don't think a lot of restaurants are going to have Zevia. Now, if they had Zevia, I would absolutely buy the Zevia. Hear that, restaurants? So. Get some Zevia. What about you? Um, For me... Definitely getting rid of the gum. Thank you, Autumn, because you're the one that inspired that. You said you were gonna get rid of the gum and I realized like how reliant I was on gum. That's crazy, I forgot all about that. Like I forgot that at one point I chewed two to three pieces of gum a day. Like I have not had gum in like two months and like I don't even feel any sort of way. Like I just feel great, I don't miss it. That is so crazy how that happens. I'm happy that it's working for you too. And I got rid of it. And I'm loving it. And probably my dentist is gonna love it too because I'm not gonna have some sort of jaw issue because of so much gum chewing. And honestly, I have replaced that little sweet tooth need with Zevia myself. Um, now I need to load up on more. I know, the root beer and the cream soda. It's, it's where it's at. Oh my God, that is amazing. And y'all know the only reason I really asked that question is so that I could tell y'all about what I'm keeping after the challenge. And you know what that is. It is the whipped cream, namely the chocolate whipped cream. Like you guys, I can't believe it took me nearly two years to try that out. Like I am going to have that every day for the foreseeable future. I mean, after this week coming up, because I'm only going to five total carbs, who told me to do that? Uh, but after that, like every day, staple of my diet, I'll try to figure out different ways to flavor the whipped cream, other things to do to it, different mix-ins and add-ins, but boy, my life has changed. Okay, question number two. How is like the exercise and or physical part of the challenge going? Like, have you noticed a decrease in energy due to your reduced caloric intake? Honestly, you know, before the challenge and in the very first couple of weeks of the challenge, I wasn't doing a whole lot of exercise because I have a physical job and I had a lacrosse tournament last week. But now I ended up going and getting a bicycle on Offer Up, and I joined Rachel this Yay! week with riding the bicycle. And it's been a lot of fun. We've been riding like six, seven, eight miles a day. And it almost leads back to your last question because this is something else that we have found that we're enjoying as a couple and this is gonna continue on now when the challenge is over. So thank you. Goals. Because since we did this challenge, we now have something that we get to do together as empty nesters. Yeah, it's been really fun. We even returned some seat cushions that didn't fit on our patio furniture. Yeah. We biked there with the uh, the things strapped to our bicycles. So yeah, that has been really fun. It's been um, neat like getting to add that to part of our lifestyle. And then um, as far as decrease in energy goes, I really haven't felt a real decrease in energy. I haven't noticed a decrease at all. I think it's because though we've been keeping it pretty simple on the recipes. So we've gotten like action packed stuff like hamburgers and eggs and butter. Yeah. And so we've had a real hearty breakfast, hearty lunch, you know, and I think that that's, you know, helped to increase my energy. And also with all this biking, 
you know, it's just, I don't know, I feel really good. Well, that is awesome. You know, I am doing a weightlifting component of the challenge. Like I've been sticking with my little worksheet, like to a T and it's awesome. And sometimes I just notice myself like not feeling it or like just super tired at the end of the day. And part of me knows that's because like I have 18 zillion jobs, but then part of me is just like, is it because I'm not eating a lot and it's just using so much more energy? I don't know, but like, I'm so happy that you guys found something that you love and you're gonna keep doing at the end of the challenge. It's all about finding the activity that you love so much that it doesn't feel like activity or exercise, you know? So weightlifting is not that for me, but I enjoy doing it because I enjoy the difference it makes in my body. Um, but you know, guys, I love that dance fitness. I love that treadmill. I love that kickboxing. It's not work. I love to do it. Find something you love to do. All right, guys, so finally, what is going to be the biggest challenge for the final week? I can't believe we're already in the final week, but what do you think the biggest challenge is gonna be? Well, I'm not exactly excited about only having 1,250 calories this week. I'm not excited about her having 1,250 calories because I'm the one who's gonna get yelled at when I bring her her plate of food and she was like, that's all I'm getting? I will absolutely kill the messenger. Like, I will do that. I know exactly what that's like, except I'm the messenger. I want to kill myself. <laughs> no, it's okay. It is It is tough in, in figuring out your macros and being like, oh, okay, so like, I don't get anything this week. Okay, got it, got it, got it, you know? But it's only for the week, and it's a challenge, and we can do it. And we're going to get rewarded with KetoCon. Like, KetoCon is the reward. So, hey, I'll take that work any day. And I am sorry, I wanna publicly apologize for the emotional damage that I will probably do to you this week when you bring me these tiny plates. But I am my biggest challenge going into this final week because I tend to be like, I need a lot of food, I need more food. And I don't, I'm gonna be fine, we're gonna be successful, and I just need to keep my emotions in check, enjoy my bike ride, and not sweat my plate size this week. What about you? So for me, I think the biggest challenge is just hitting my macros correctly. The 1800 calories doesn't bother me that much. I mean, I'm used to eating 1800 calories, but when you have the restricting of the carbs and really trying to hit my macros correctly and not exceeding the protein, I'm finding at the end of the day, I'm stuck with a lot of fat and nothing else to fill it in. So before, like if I had some fat, I can have like a little fat bomb, but that would have two or three carbs in it. Or I would make like my cinnamon mug cake, which is really high in fat, but would have five or six carbs in it. Can't do and it. I can't have that. So I'm stuck at the end of the day with just a lot of fat. And the only thing I can do is dump three or four tablespoons of coconut oil or butter into my coffee. And I'm not a huge like fat, you know, like coffee drinker to begin with. Maybe so you pour it over your eggs? That's the, well, that's what I've been doing is putting like two tablespoons of butter over my eggs. But that's my biggest challenge. So that's why I do think for like the last four or five days, I'm just going to do like a keto brick and then probably maybe one or two eggs, bring myself up to like 1700 calories, but try to keep that protein low. And the reason I'm gonna use the keto brick, which is probably the bacon one because there's only nine total carbs in it, mm -hmm. is because it's just got the perfect ratios. And then if I add in a couple of eggs and the butter, that should get me there. But it's gonna be a little boring food week for at least the last five days of it. But that's okay. We're gonna yeah. do this. We yeah, got we this. got this. Yeah, we do. I just got pumped right there. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you guys so much. I can't believe we're in the final week and I cannot wait to see you at KetoCon. Okay guys, like last week was tough. I was out of town for my business trip, but I, I stayed on plan and I stayed just disciplined and, and honestly, it was the first time I've done that in a very long time. I'm gonna say maybe it's the first time I've ever gone out of town and eaten properly. And that's just a huge deal. Usually when we get outside of our routine, we like to say, oh, this is outside of my routine. Once I get back, I'm in control. But it's like, no, we have to learn how to live keto everywhere we go, not just in the confines of our house, but like out in the world. And so the fact that I was able to do that at my work conference just gave me just so much confidence and I wasn't feeling deprived. You know, I felt like I was enjoying the food that I was eating and I still felt part of the action. And that was amazing. I am so excited to move into the last week of this challenge. Like, 
Five total carbs is insane, but I'm gonna knock it out of the park. I cannot wait for the results next week and I will catch up with you then. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I will see you next week at the end. Oh, here we come.